All right, go video. Let's get on with the video. Uh, here we are at uh, the storage unit. We went to the auction. We did a sorted everything, dropped everything off, had the auctioneer uh, readjust some of the boxes, and it did what it did. Uh, I was basically like, I don't really care what it does or how you get rid of it or do whatever you got to do with it. Um, yeah, let's get into this video. We dumped everything into the auction, and I had to get that out because I'm just frustrated with it. And um, I think we did all right. I wasn't counting. I wasn't counting how much the boxes were or how much any of the boxes went for. Um, I do know one guy bid up five of the boxes to 70, so we're at almost 300 off of three boxes. Keep in mind, I put 42 in there. And they were, you know, maybe some of them were consolidated or not and ended up with maybe... 20 to 30 boxes in the whole auction so with five doing 70 ish um and then it all going down in lower increments from there i think we did all right i think we did all right i mean i don't think i did a thousand or anything um but i really don't know because i didn't stick around for some of the other lots to go off i just uh once i had what i needed i was like i'm out of here so this is what i got and what i thought i needed <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, we got this um, nice Canada dry box. It's in okay shape. I figured mom could use that. That's that's good to hold records and stuff like that. Uh, I think I paid 15 for this with some juice. So 20 bucks, not the greatest buy, uh, but it had a beat up, uh, what's this, uh, uh, cranberry bog grabber and a little um, set of... Uh, um, what the hell are these freaking things? Numbers and letters, numbers and letters. Numbers and letters. All right, so here's all the crap that I bought for, uh, uh, 1100 uh, Which consisted of three, two or three boxes of records. You guys like records? You like records? You like the symphonies from the world of George Ziesel? Zell? Yeah, I don't know. Um, nothing crazy in here, to be honest with you. But did notice one. Yeah, this is a Smothers Brothers. Did notice one that does like 10 bucks. So, I mean, I think I got this in a lot, all these records. So it's like maybe 15 to $20 for all the records. Um, it's a box of glass. Just random glass. Glasswares. You guys like glasswares? Uh, some Pyrex, stuff like that. It's a little beat up, but we can get rid of it. Uh, moving on, all the box of records. Uh, this might have an avalanche. We'll see what happens. I told you. I told you. That's how we do it, avalanche style. All right, this. All right, so this box here, was uh, all uh, obviously it was all shot glasses. We got some CDs uh, and there's all the antlers. I grabbed all the antlers. I, think I paid 35 plus the juice. Um, they're not bad. These make good uh, like dog toys, and uh, you can make some stuff with these. I don't know what we're gonna make with them, but maybe we can list them at like five bucks each. And you got five hundred dollars. Uh, so, moving on. I don't want this stuff to get wet. It is raining a little bit, as you can see the uh, windshield rain. So, I don't want to get too crazy. We got some uh, books. You guys like books? Well, let me back this out. Uh, I think people were sleeping on these books. Let me pull some of these records out and get some of the stuff in the unit. That way it's not getting wet. Some of the stuff back here won't get wet. So we'll go through it. Be back. All right, here we go. Uh, we got a box of books. Uh, nothing crazy. There's a, uh, heavy, big heavy metal book in here. Heavy metal. So the person that put all this in there, good to be the king. Yeah, that's probably funny. Uh, the 
death of WWC. That's kind of cool. I think people were kind of sleeping on a little bit of this stuff. Foley versus God. Here you get some Foley, uh, Mick Foley books. This is kind of cool. Some WWF books. I didn't see all that stuff. Yeah, so that's a little random grab bag. Um, yeah, you know, maybe thirty bucks in that book. Who knows? Who knows? Um, moving on. Uh, we got this box of uh picture frames. Yeah, you know, you do a buck, two bucks. Yeah, we're getting two bucks. Some of these are right. Yeah, two bucks. Yeah, somebody was done grinding them. Looks like I got to grind them now. We'll get rid of them. Uh, I bid on these uh, slides with the. I mainly wanted the film. I didn't want. I didn't really want the slides. I was like, whatever. Uh, Eighty four. Uh, Sun, uh, Sunapi, Christmas in Maine, uh, Acton Bay, Mystic something, at least they're all labeled, that's kind of good, so you get a little, uh, Ice Show, tro Trolley Museum, that might be kind of good, a Trolley Museum, Kenny Bunk, Trolley Museum, that might be kind of good, um, more slides, and then there was more, uh, well, basically it wasn't more, it was, it was actually what I kind of wanted, was the, uh, the reel to reel stuff, um, these, a couple boxes, some other Victor reel to reels here, uh, some other reel to reel stuff down there, and I put some reel to reel in the auction, which I probably shouldn't have, I just wanted to see what it was going to do, some other reel to reels, Reels to reels of flowers. And we get the Rochester Fair in 1969. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I like the cases. That's kind of cool. A little Bakelite handle, I think, maybe. Uh, and get another case full. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. So, yeah. Uh, I like that stuff. It doesn't really get sold, but I hoard it until I get around to it. Probably want to uh, fire up the rails for real before we get rid of any of that, because you want you want to really confirm what it is, rather than just uh, throw a number. So that's that. So this other stuff's not getting wet. So we do have uh, two orders I got to get out. I got to go home. I got to pack an amplifier. Here's the amplifier. Um, and then we got to go home and pack the, uh, Big Ricky smashing table, uh, the smashing spool that sold too. Actually literally put a hole in the top of it the last time we used Big Ricky. Mulching, mulching material. It's a tricky, uh, it's a tricky Ricky. Where you going? The pirate. That couldn't have been a good movie. And uh, I was like, eh, I'm going to try and list this. I don't even know what the hell this is. Looked it up. And I was like, oh, who would have knew I was uh, smashing on top of a $300, $400, $500 spool of coax cable. I mean, I know what it was. I just didn't really get around to looking it up. <laughs> All right, moving on. You get a nice Wilson leather jacket. Huh? Lopsy, you want a jacket? Uh, we got these books. So it's like uh, Star Wars paperbacks. We got some other, like, of interest. I don't know what you can see. Of interest novels. That one actually does pretty good. Um, other interest of not you know novels of interest i call them novels of interest because people actually read these like at the moment in time all this like fable stuff people want to live in a world that mm, other than this one they want to live in some fantasy world so they read a book I'm not making fun of you i'm just saying some people want to live in a fantasy world so moving on from the uh fantasy world books uh we got all the cds 
miles of CDs. It's going to take forever. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> I do know these totes right here were from the metal, the metal um, pile. So, might have some CDs of interest. A lot of it was, uh, rubbing doesn't help. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's Flippa. Um, yeah, so num some of this stuff doesn't do anything. Um, but some of it's, you know, a lot of it's metal, to be honest with you. And I think, I think, I think all this crap was really overlooked. Uh, $15 a box. So what are you going to do? So this many records for a dollar each to pay for it. That's pretty, uh, easy. Um, same thing with some of these books. It was like $15. So what do I get to sell? Uh, three books for five bucks. Okay, I mean, this, this this is easy math stuff. This is why, you know, you buy this stuff. It's a long processing time, but, um, you know, if you if you can sell everything, I mean, these are, you know, I mean, this box, I don't know, let me get some boxes out of the way. All right, so here we go. Um, stomp box dress. I mean, some of this is, some of this is pretty good. You get the Lost Lonely Boys. Come on, get out of there. Lost Lonely Boys, that's got to be a dollar. They were popular at one point. Some of the stuff sealed. Usher, sealed. Got like 50 of these though. Usher. Sealed. Uh, we got this. Jericho. Workers Union. Sealed. Like six copies of that. But you get the point. You get the point. You get the point really need to point much more out with the CDs other than, you know, good flea market material, good uh, smalls, easy shipping, lightweight, um, easy, to, easy to categorize, you know, uh, put the tag on, uh, you know, CD rack D, uh, CD rack A, B, uh, tote G, which I wouldn't probably put them in anything like that. But this is the way you want to go in these flats like this, these bread boxes so, seem, seem to work pretty good for storage can stack them up uh kind of heavy you could put it on rollers you can mount rollers to it and build a little cabinet for it and roll it out and uh roll it out roll it in uh, to you know sort it if you wanted to do a full process on this easy setup for flea market you just throw it on the table a buck a piece um yeah books peaked of interest and uh let me process some of the stuff real quick and then we'll come back All right, here we go. I put one rack down, made a little room. Uh, so what do I got to do? I get, what, I, what do I got to do? <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another rack there. And uh, hmm, it's uh, three racks. That kind of sucks. I have to put three racks here. One, two, three. And I'm going to put comics all the way on top of it. Because that's what we got too. So here's the... Uh, I, I looked up the Usher. Uh, one sold. Uh, five bucks. Uh, way too many listed. Uh, this, there was three listed, this workers' union. Um, there was three listed, none sold. That doesn't mean it doesn't sell. So I moved on from there, actually. And there's uh, three more of these right here. Is there another one? Yeah, there's another one. So I moved on from that particular CD. And then I went to this one. This thing. If it's on a winter night. So, here you go. Sold for $15. Sealed. We got seven of them. 
uh, I can undercut everybody. There's like, I don't know, 20 other people selling this. I'll undercut them all. 10 bucks each. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, and then off to the uh, races. So, put these in the truck. This, this is how you do your simple math. Um, it's just the easiest way to do it. Uh, you know, it was sealed. It peaked interest. It stings. Stings okay. Um, definitely good bass player. Uh, overrated a little bit because he's not that good. But, um, yeah. 70 bucks. Bing, bang, boom. Let's get some more of this crap out. All right, here we are. Rows of comics. Uh, how many boxes did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It was fifteen boxes. All right. Uh, I didn't get an extra box, so whatever. Uh, fifteen boxes of comics, uh, all unsorted by me. I don't know who else sorted them, but. Um, here's a run of the Flash. All good condition. All these comics were uh, pretty good. Uh, full run of, it's not like a full run, but it's a pretty good run. It's like a hundred run of the Flash. I mean, I don't know, what can you get for that? 50 bucks, maybe? Um, maybe more, like 50 and a lot. So, um, there's probably, let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, it's about 60, 70 books. Um, two to three bucks each, a dollar each, you're at about $70. Two dollars each, you know. You do your math. One forty for each. It's uh, two, two, two ten. Uh, so, I mean, there might be one of peaked interest in here. You never know. You have to look it all up. That would be the best way to grind it. Uh, look through it all. Peaked interest. Grab that one. List it. They're all good condition. Easy listing. Um. Then grind out at three, two, one, and then your final value would probably be 140. Because you can do threes, so you're gonna sell probably this many at three dollars. You're gonna sell one book in here probably for twenty dollars, and you're gonna sell probably mm, a third of them at two dollars, and then the rest is gonna go for a dollar. That's what, what that's the inevitable for that. Okay, so we have uh, probably 2,000 books to get rid of ourselves, um, all, no clue, no clue, nothing about it, so here's what happened, I'll try to make it quick, um, when we got to the comics, I even told Steve, I, I'm not paying more than $40 a box for any of this, I, I just don't want to pay 50, because 50 turns into 60, and I even think I said 40 is the peak, because 40 turns into 50, and then 50 turns into 60 real quick with the um, taxes and fees and stuff. So, honestly, I, I bid and went back and forth with a couple people. And I ended, on the, I ended up with 40. I ended up at the 40. Uh, I had to make the decision right then. Real quick, too. I said, I'll take them all. Um, let me tell you, nobody, nobody liked that. Um, which was fine. It was perfect for me. And it really worked out. I wasn't thinking about it. Steve brought it to my attention that because I because I had comics in the auction too, um, so he did these ones first. I bought all these at forty dollars a box, uh, sight unseen. I looked at them a little bit, and then uh, everyone got butt hurt. Went to the next lots of comics, and I just didn't bid. I bid up a, a little bit, but I didn't really bid. I knew, I knew what I wanted out of that, and th it was like the first box that went for like eighty bucks, and I, I don't know, that was kind of high, and it, uh, everything after that for comics was just high. So, um, you know, I made the house some money. Uh, I bid a couple people up. Um, we got the cheaper of everything. Um, 
So it worked out good. Um, I took the 14. Everyone else was taken two at a time, three at a time. I don't think that's the way to go. You try and chisel the house down t 10 or $20 per box. It just doesn't, I mean, you're better off just taking everything. Let me tell you, even if it's like, just know your cap, know your limit. Um, so 600 for all the comics. Ah, it's not too bad. Um, honestly, I think I can sell all these books for 600 to be honest with you. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. I gotta start stacking. Let's start stacking. All right, there you go. Thousand dollars worth of shit out of an auction. Um, so this will soon be free. I'm gonna go like this. This is where we're gonna start. I think. I think. I think we can get a thousand out of this. The books. Just the books. Um, I think we can get a thousand. So that's gonna be the goal. We're gonna list all this crap to pay for all this crap. All right. And here's some of the other Star Wars shit that I didn't uh, put in the auction and some of the shit that I didn't list. So all this stuff's gonna end up either gonna be stuck in the storage unit or gonna go to the auction or the flea market. Here's the big ass uh, mailbox I got. That's the post uh, office wants me to upgrade the size of the mailbox. Bing bang, we upgraded. I think I paid 25 for it. Who's uh, number five? And uh, sorry about my French, uh, 511. I don't know, the F with the five kind of made me go that route. But uh, yeah, nice. It's got the nice pole hanger. It's, it's that's Bala. That's that's a hundred dollar piece if if need be in the uh, antique booth. It's pretty massive. So, all right, that's it. Thanks for coming by. That's what we got. Peace. Come back.